Well, I would suggest that for number one, your attitude. If you get bitter, feel depressed, you hurt your body, even if you eat the best food in the world. Like if you eat the best food selected for you, and you see somebody run over by a Mack truck, you might vomit. What happened to the good food? You poison yourself when you have a very negative outlook on the world. You know what I mean? I'm so busy trying to solve problems, I can't take the time out and feel bad because the world... Look, if I project like H.G. Wells, he believed the world should have been far in advance by today, and he died bitter against it. What was wrong with H.G. E. Wells is he had expectations of the world. I don't. Do the best you can to make it better, but whatever they do, that's the real world. What happens is the real world. What I think should happen is wrong. You do your best to make it happen, but if it doesn't, that's all you can do is your best. Do you understand that? But if you have expectations of somebody and it doesn't turn out that way, it means your judgment regarding that person is wrong. Like a girl came to me and she said, I sent my boyfriend to college to become a doctor. I paid for all his college training. And then he ran off with my best girlfriend and got married. So I said, you're very lucky. He was a son of a bitch. You got rid of a bad guy. Your ability to judge people is what's at fault, not the guy. He was a son of a bitch, but you couldn't detect that. So you have to learn how to evaluate people. And once you learn to do that, you're more apt to have better judgment. Do you understand? It's not the world that hurts you. It's your own expectation. 